To millions across the globe, Tina Turner was simply the best. She was the queen of rock and roll, but to her fans, she was so much more. A survivor, a warrior, a superstar. The energy of rock and roll is what I am about. It's naughty, it's fun, it's, it's, it's movement, and that's what I like, and that's what I am. On stage, she was electric. Her dance moves brought the heat, and that voice... The fire in that voice brought the house down. Once I hit the stage, I become an actress, acting out each song, being totally involved with each word. And immediately, the next song I go into it, I become that song and whatever that the story of that song is. If you say, who's the queen of rock and roll? The answer is Tina Turner. Tina Turner looked better in her 40s than a lot of us looked when we were like 21. Because what you get is what you see. Throughout her legendary career, Turner took home 12 Grammys, sold nearly 200 million records worldwide, and broke barriers along the way. Becoming the first black artist and first woman to grace the cover of Rolling Stone magazine. I cannot overstate how much permission she gave women, black women definitely, but women period. A beloved icon to millions across generations, Tina Turner passed away earlier today at her home in Switzerland. She was 83 years old. Tributes pouring in from around the world. Angela Bassett remembering the woman she once played on the big screen. How do we say farewell to a woman who owned her pain and trauma and used it as a means to help change the world? Oprah writing about how Tina Turner inspired her. She is our forever goddess of rock and roll, who contained a magnitude of inner strength that grew throughout her life. All right, where's Tina? Da, 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 da. Mick Jagger famously shared the stage with Tina at Live Aid in 1985, together singing the Rolling Stones hit, It's Only Rock and Roll. It's only rock and roll da, da, da. Tonight, he remembered his friend writing, I'm so saddened by the passing of my wonderful friend, Tina Turner. She helped me so much when I was young, and I will never forget her. Tina Turner's presence in the music industry was colossal. When you see Beyonce on stage during her Renaissance World Tour, you're seeing Tina Turner. Beyonce just didn't come out of nowhere. And Beyonce has said this herself, that she got this from as Tina Turner. She inspired generations of music royalty, like Queen Bee herself, who paid tribute to the trailblazing legend at her 2005 Kennedy Center Honors. I never in my life saw a woman so powerful, so fearless, so fabulous, and those legs. But before Tina became Tina, she had to rise up from hardship. Born in Tennessee in 1939 as Anna Mae Bullock, the daughter of sharecroppers, abandoned by her parents as a teenager. My father was a sharecropper. And uh, actually, when I grew up, I worked in the fields as picking cotton. And I always dreamed of being an actress while I was in the fields working. I mean, I, I hated that. I didn't like it at all. She finally escaped in Upbush when she moved uh, to St. Louis in the uh, mid-50s. And St. Louis is where she, she met Ike Turner. And what she yearned to do was to get the chance to sing with that band because she knew she had a great voice. She was just 17 when she first took the stage, singing during intermission at an Ike Turner show. She quickly joined the Kings of Rhythm, Ike's band, and began recording with the group in 1958. It was Ike who gave her her name, Tina. Together, they put out nearly 40 albums, many of which sold millions of copies. But behind the glitz and glam hitting the top of the charts and the Grammys, a darker side. Her husband, abusive. The bigger they got, I must have thought, you know, I've got this good thing here. I can never let her go. I did it as, as I was told. And it's, it's almost as if you can put yourself in the position of always being told. And even, it just doesn't feel good all the time to be under someone's hand. Is that what it was like? He was in total control? Absolutely. If you listen to the way that Tina laid it out, it was physical abuse. And I think that people really became wholly aware once that feature film came out in the early 90s that Angela Bassett earned her first Oscar nomination for portraying Tina Turner. My husband and I just had a fight. 
I'm supposed to open at the academy tonight. But she was a survivor. Tina left Ike in 1976 with 36 cents and a gas card in her pocket. Tina Turner probably brought more attention to domestic abuse than anyone had up to, the, up to that point. Ike Turner eventually died from a drug overdose in 2007. In 1982, Tina sat down with ABC's 2020. But when he was bitter, he was just real awful and real difficult to get along with. And, and by being a sort of a physically violent man, you never knew when you were going to get it. My life with Ike was uh, one that a lot of maybe people are familiar with, the husbands that, that, is, uh, uh, that uh, practice brutality. <laughs> Why did you stay so long then? I felt responsible. I felt that I couldn't leave because too many things would be destroyed. And, um, and uh, I stayed because I cared. And when the time actually arrived, I had no longer cared because I was actually living a living death anyway. But Tina was Tina Turner. She was determined not to stay down and out for long. It's probably going to be one of the most talked about comebacks forever in pop music. And listen to what I say. It's just persistence. And if you believe in yourself and you're good at what you do and you know that you are and you have no doubts, the thought alone and believing it will make it happen for you. In 1984, her hit, What's Love Got To Do With It?, hitting the very top of the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 list. At the age of 45, she won four Grammys for that song. It meant a lot that Tina Turner didn't slow down. As a Black woman in her 40s, I'm going to kick down a door, walk inside of it, and show and prove who I am and what I can do. And that's exactly what Tina Turner did. Oh, she's, she's got style, all oh, in crazy class. She makes you feel young. She's alive. I know, I, I feel she's like I'm 20 years I can't wait for her to come back. She had me dazzled. I mean, I, the minute she came on, that's it. She took his hand. She made history in 1991 being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as the duo Ike and Tina. She was later inducted as a solo artist again in 2021. If they're still giving me awards at 81, I must have done something right. Yeah, this is mine. Tina retired in 2009 after her last tour. Four years later, she tied the knot with her partner of more than three decades, Erwin Bach, a German record executive in Switzerland where she stayed after relinquishing her U.S. citizenship. Despite stepping away from the stage, her life and legacy featured in a Broadway production, Tina, the Tina Turner musical. This musical is my life, but it's like poison that turned to medicine. I think Tina Turner's legacy is strength. You know, you hear the strength and the way that she delivered a song, the raspy, kind of aggressive vocals, but you also hear it when you know anything about her story, strength. Hers was a story of pain and fortitude, turmoil and triumph. Through it all, Tina Turner inspired generations, not just with her voice, but with her songs, her grace, and her fighting spirit. In every interview all over the world, people ask me, when are you gonna slow down? And I tell them that I'm just getting started. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.